We're doing that right across Canada right now in a number of different uh, cities. Uh, these are all dealerships that Caterpillar obviously uh, sells out of. Close to 500 workers at Electromotive in London have been locked out since January 1st. Caterpillar owns the plant and is asking for a 50% reduction in wages and benefits. So this is a company that's basically crying poor, I would suggest to you, which is not so poor now. In earnings reported today, Caterpillar's profits for 2011 were $4.9 billion, nearly double last year's mark. What's more, the company's shares are trading at close to $8.00. Three dollars higher than last year. But Caterpillar officials say they aren't crying poor, they're just being realistic. In a written statement, Jim Dugan says Electromotive is not competitive and that their final offer addresses these disadvantages. Dugan adds Caterpillar has an obligation to make sure each of our businesses is cost competitive. But that's of no comfort on the lockout line. A little well, upset, nauseous, uh, knowing that we have to fight for this and you know, that they're showing profits constantly. The Windsor picket included Nelson Sarti, originally from the Rose City, who now works at Electromotive. Yeah, it's hard to stay focused. Uh, you know, you, you want to hope that we're going to solve this soon, but we, who knows. The Harper government has given them, uh, you know, incentives in their industry, including themselves, uh, and again, with no job guarantees. If the federal government had any kind of uh, financial sway to, to leverage them to stay, uh, that's something that we would utilize, but it's not. It's a provincial jurisdiction, as we've said consistently. In light of its profits, National President Ken Luenza is demanding Caterpillar take its concessionary demands off the table.